Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use list comprehension which allows you to produce new lists based on the items in old lists. So let me give you an example here we've got a list of numbers going through from 1 to 10 and let's say I want to produce a new list of numbers that are all of those items but double. So what we could do if we're going to use a for loop is we could do sort of like uh, nums2 equals uh, create an empty list ready to add them in and then you could do for i in nums uh, for i in nums and then you could do nums2 dot append and then i times 2 so you could do that way and that would then produce a new list called nums2 where each of the items are double what the previous were. So there you can see it, that's perfectly fine, um, which is okay, but you've got three lines of code there, um, whereas with list comprehension, you can do it in just as an easy way, but only use one line of code, which makes it much easier to read, less use of for loops and things like that. So how does it work? Well, it's really quite easy. Um, to do it, you just say, okay, uh, let's call this nums3, shall we? Uh, and you do the same as before, um, this time with your empty brackets. But this time what you do is inside of those brackets, you put um, some Python that allows to do all of this sort of stuff here nice and quickly. And all we do in this instance is we say, okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the item times it by 2 for each item. So item in and then the name of the original list. So it's got some kind of expression and then the four bit and then the name of the original list or iterator that you've used. So there we go. So all we're doing is we're taking whatever the item is, just like in the I in, for, uh, in the for loop, I times two for each item in num. So now, hopefully if I go nums three, there you go. So. As you can see, we've got pretty much what we did here, pretty much the same as what we did in three lines of code. We've done it in one line of code, which makes it much easier to, uh, much quicker to program. But also, that's actually really quite easy to read. Um, so let's give you a let's give you another example. Let's say, for instance, we've got this time a two-dimensional list, and um, let's say um, it's a list of responses from people. So uh, let's say there's a party. And we've got a list of responses, and it's a two-dimensional list. So here we've got like Bob, and he's going to the party uh, this time. And then we've got Bill. Bill is not going to the party because he doesn't like the people. And we've got Fred, and Fred is going to the party. There we go. So there's my list of responses. So I'll just type in responses. And let's say we want to go through this list and we want to create a new list just of the people who are going to the party which in this case is Bob and Fred well normally in um, we do a for loop and we you know create a new empty list and we say okay for each item in the first one um, if the the item 0 of each item is uh, sorry item 1 if item 1 is yes then we add item 0 to the new list and we do that for all of them uh, we could do it that way, or we can use um, a, a some list comprehension. And this time, slightly more complicated. All we do is we go. Oops, oh, what have I done there? Oh, it's not tough. There we go. So let's say going a list of people who are going. So going equals again. You do your um, your list brackets, and this time all we need to do is we say, okay, we're going to put uh, item zero, the name in there. So item brackets zero, because we're going to um, we're gonna, we're add the first item there for each item. So for i in, and then it's responses. And now what we do is we put a bit of an if statement at the end, and we say, okay, if i brackets one equals yes. There we go. Done. And that's it. So it's a similar way to do it as we would as a for loop, but much, much easier this way. All we do is we just say, okay, we have the, um, the expression here. So do something here with each item for each i in there. 
You don't have to call it I, you can call it whatever you want there, but I just call it I. Um, so something for each item in the name of the list. And this one time around, you put your if statement at the end. And you can do all sorts of different if statements. Um, and now if you type in going, there you can see it's only added the going people uh, that are actually going. There you go. So that's list comprehension. Um, uh, for a very simple for, for loops where you do something quite simple, so for instance you're um, just doing something to a number, or you're trying to you know break down and get certain items from a two-dimensional list, then it's a really quick and easy alternative to for loops, which makes your code much much quicker to code and easier to read. There we go. Thank you very much.